Welcome back. The South African Football Association has made some changes to their National Executive Committee after a meeting on Saturday. The NEC members unanimously resolved to dismiss two of its vice presidents, namely Ria Lidwaba and uh, Gay Mukwena. Effectively, there are now only two SAFA vice presidents, namely Koli Lengompela and Premier Soccer League Chairman Irvin Koza. Mr. Kei Mkwena and Riali Twaba have been removed as vice presidents of the South African Football Association. However, the two individuals are still members of SAFA's National Executive Committee. My brother, what happened is the NEC had its extraordinary meeting held yesterday at SAFA House. They are in my report as the activity report. There was the issue of a letter which uh, Ms. Ledwaba had sent to the minister and to SASCO, and the president had written her an email requesting her to submit the letter. When uh, the victim was going through the report, they asked her to explain on the letter issue, and she confessed that she sent the letter. Mutlant explained that the NEC members clarified that they would have been pleased if Litwaba had looked for other avenues to voice her concerns. The constitution and that of FIFA is clear on third party involvement and she could have looked for other uh, avenues like talking to CAF or FIFA if she felt that the association is not doing right. She said no, it was because the president did not respond and the president proved to the meeting that she responded to her and said, if you go a route of writing me a letter and seeing other people, I will not respond to you. And the president had put that response to her. Litwaba is unhappy with the manner in which the decision to remove her as vice president has unfolded. The manner in which it was done, it was done in a manner that you could see that it was orchestrated. It was all done. It was just a formality in that meeting. People have prepared themselves to come and remove me. But what I'm pleased with is that I have told them that what they are doing is not right, it's injustice, and football will never grow in the manner that they think they must be able to deal with issues and people and destroy people just like that. Mkwena wrote an open letter to SAFA NEC in April, alleging that, among other things, SAFA President Danny Jordan was taking decisions without consulting other NEC members. Kei Mkwena served as SAFA's chief executive officer from late last year, following the departure of Russell Paul. Paul is now in Qatar, working with the 2022 FIFA World Cup Organizing Committee. According to SAFA's acting chief executive officer, Debu Humtlante, members of the NEC were not happy with Mkwena's open letter and had voiced their displeasure. On Mr. Mkwena, it was uh, the question of his report. The NEC was not happy in that first. They had to see it through the media because it was on the media on the 25th of April. Uh, the unsigned copy of that report. And he signed the copy and sent to them on the 27th. The NEC members then felt that uh, he was not fair to them. They then uh, decided that uh, he must also be removed as a vice president. And they must put clear that their removal does not in any way mean that they are no longer NEC members. They are still NEC members. Meanwhile, SAFA is still waiting for a response from the government about the resumption of competitive football in the country. Mtutuzin for SAPC News in Johannesburg.